Hello again. We've got another absolute value, and this time we've got a lot of variables we're working with. So we have 3w, which is being divided by p, which is multiplying the absolute value of 5c minus x. And that whole side is equal to d. Great. Well, want to get the absolute value on its own, where easy trick is to flip or invert both sides. So p times absolute value of 5c minus x, all divided by 3w equals 1 over d. Okay. Well, multiply both sides by 3w, divide both sides by p, and we're going to have absolute value of 5c minus x on the one side equals 3w over pd or dp, whatever order you want to go. And now, before we can continue any further, we have to be assuming that this side is positive. If these values are all positive, then we're good. If the one of them is negative, or if this side became a negative, we'd know that we couldn't solve this. There'd be no solutions. So we're going to go ahead assuming that this side overall is positive. So what do we get? 5c minus x equals plus or minus this mess right here. 3w over pd. Great. As always, split that into two possible solutions. So 5c, oh, by the way, I think I forgot to mention the whole way, we're solving for x. Important to know, we want to solve for x. So 5c minus x equals 3w over p d. And now we can say x equals 5c minus 3w over p d. And if we wanted to, we could make this one fraction. So we can say this is the same as 5CPD minus 3W over PD. If we wanted to clean it up a bit. But that would be up to us. Or we can also look at the solution where it's negative. So we get 5C minus X equals minus 3w over pd. Solution is going to be pretty similar. We're going to get x, in this case, equals 5c plus 3w over pd. Or again, if we want to clean it up, or not necessarily clean it up, but put it all under one fraction, we get pd plus 3w all over pd. Again, two possible solutions. Thanks.